call it Delhi, Delhi, not Delhi. And we should not, I should, we should avoid anglicized expressions, anglicized pronunciation. Delhi is Delhi, not Hyderabad. It is Hyderabad. So Nizam was a vassal. Bhavdu, Bhavdu, last Nizam, seventh Nizam was Usmali Khan. Let, let us not go into what other Nizams did. Abzaluddawla, his son Mahivali Khan, his son last Nizam was Usman Ali Khan, the most trusted ally. Have you seen Palaknumaya Palace? You should visit the palace. When King George V and Queen Mary came to Hyderabad, they wondered, they were taken in a horse carriage of 100 horse carriages, 100 horse carriages. There is a dining table cut out of mahogany wood. Mahogany is costlier than gold. Mahogany wood comes from Latin America. Single dining table which can accommodate 100 diners. It is still there. Now it is held by Taj Hotels. Falak, falak is sky. Falak, no. Falak is eyelid. Falak is a labiodental. Falak, fa. Falak is sky. Falak is sitare. Falak no ma, sky like building. Falak no ma is sky like building. Palace. Why I am telling you this? He was richer. When they came here, the British officers realized that Nizam was richer than Queen herself. How could he amass so much wealth? By suppressive taxation system. And the area was very rich. You can imagine, you know, one, I will give you an example of one district, Adilabad district. He knows. Adilabad borders Mahabuna, uh, Maharashtra. Five rivers, Hyderabad, Adilabad has five rivers. Godavari, Pranahita, Penganga, Varada, it is actually Varada, not Varada, Varada and Kadim. Fourteen rivulets, Nalavagu, Salivagu, Sudhavagu, Pedavagu, Vatuvagu, Swarnavagu, Taditurravagu, Salpalavagu, Palavagu. Fourteen rivulets. Can any district boast of so many rivers, so many rivulets? Very rich in biodiversity of what aqua species because of lot of water. Very rich in biodiversity of animal species. There is a cabal tiger sanctuary also. Very rich in biodiversity of plant species and also human species, mineral species. Minerals, not one, even coal. Human species, I will tell you what human species is. There are two Aryan tribes and six Dravidian tribes. Gonds, semi Aryan, semi Dravidian. They were actually Gonds, Raja Gonds were kings. Balarsha is the name of a king who defeated Mughals. Actually, the name of the town is Balars Balarpur, but railway station says Balarsha. Balarsha is the name of the king. Gonds, Raja Gonds, Kolam, Toti, And, Nayakapodu, Pujari Pardhan. Pujaris, Gond Pujaris. And true Dravidian tribes, Mathura and Lambadi. Lambadi are Gor, Gor Mati. Gor because they were cow huts. Gau Chalane Valete. Go, go. Mathura, sir, no, they, are, they came from Mathura. North India. They are also cowherds and shepherds. True, true, true Aryan tribes. So many human species, so many cultural species, so many language species. Everybody has distinct language. Why I am giving you a specimen example, a specimen of only Adilabad district. All districts are like that because of Deccan Plateau. Either one fifth of Indian landmass is Deccan Plateau. Hyderabad, Pune, Nagpur, Chota Nagpur also, that is Jharkhand, Chota Nagpur, Mysore, Bengaluru, all Dakhan Plateau. Dakshin, Plateau, Patar Bhumi, Punchi Jaga, Patar Bhumi, you know, table land. Because of altitude, high altitude, Adilabad also is bestowed with 180 km long Satpura, Sahyadri mountain range. Mountain range also is there. And waterfalls, Pochera, Kuntala, Nalagundam, Gayatri, Kortikal, eight waterfalls falls in Adilaba. People know only mostly about Kuntala and Pochera. So, 
and hundred people, uh, thousand people were hanged. 1860, Ramji Gont, who revolted against British and Nizam, thousand people were hanged at a banyan tree. It is called Vayi Udala Marri. You can, Ramji Gont, you can also refer to Google. Ramji Gont, he was a Gont, tribal. Like uh, Birsa Munda. Birsa Munda also was tribal, Santal. Now Jharkhand. Chota Nagpur area. Thousand people, Vayi Udala Marri, and about 40 uh, Rohilas. Rohilas were Muslims, Muslim, Patans from uh, Afghanistan. They were also angry. Have you heard of Turebas Khan? Turebas Khan. People say, Turum Khan wa? Turum Khan is Turebas Khan. It's a pedestrian expression of Turebas Khan. Turra is, no, Turra is feather in the cap. It was also Rohilla. Turai. Turai, Turai. Is a, but it is an Arabic word. Etymology of Turai is uh, Arabic word. Uh, feather in the cap. Turra. Diamond studded feather. Turai at the Tilula at Lachindi. Kaliki is diamond studded. Diamond studded Turai. Ah, Kaliki is the diamond. He was also hanged. At Koti, about 100 people were blown into pieces. They were tied to cannon muzzles. Mutineers, that is 1857. Hyderabad. And his guru, Mauli Alauddin was taken to Andamans. He was imprisoned in Ross Island. The sergeant there, Sergeant Berry, wrote a letter to British resident. He has become old and infirm. In, that is about 1889. That is 30 years after mutiny. He has become old and infirm. He can be granted absolute release. Absolute release means taking back to his home. If he is released there in the island, there is no cellular jail at that time. Cellular jail was built later. If, he's, uh, if he tries to swim, he will become prey to so many uh, things. There are also sharks there. So he cannot swim. If he gets into some island, the local tribes will shoot them down. Jarawas, Mayos. Jarawas, Jarawas is forest in Urdu. Jarawas, forest dweller. We call them Jarawas. So he could not come here. He wanted to be given absolute release. Resident said no. Nizam pleaded. He is actually uh, Kazi in Masjid. He is a religious spiritual guru. He can be granted absolute release. Nizam pleaded. Resident said no. He will incite people again. So who, was the, who is the ruler? Resident was the ruler. I gave you an example of... That is the thing, you know. You read about white Mughal. I am giving you, I am throwing light on the other dimensions of history. That is historiography. There is also another term called historiosophy. The historiosophy is philosophy of history. There are bad people, good people. Let us talk about good people so that it serves as ideal. Ravana and, ha, Ra, Ravana and Rama. Let us talk about only Rama. Why about Ravana? The children should not emulate Ravana. They should emulate Rama. That is called historiosophy. Historiosophy is philosophy of history. What is that you want to narrate? What, what is that you want to... Uh, you expect people to emulate? That is historiosophy. I am not going into historiosophy. I am going into all aspects of his history. Hyderabad history. Hyderabad history is full of valor. Valiant soldiers. People who sacrificed. The first struggle against Nizam's tyranny and his suppressive taxation began around Warangal town, his, his town, hometown, Kadavendi. Shepherds revolted first, then Lambadas. Lambadas are North Indian tribes, you know. Gore, they revolted. Then small peasants. It's actually called Terangana Pe Peasants Armed Struggle. Hyderabad Struggle, Bengal, one 
Nandigram struggle, not this recent Nandigram, 1945-46 Nandigram. Recent Nandigram is a different thing. Hmm? That is uh, Nandigram, uh, that, uh, that is about uh, Dow company, you know, land giving, land Buddhiv Bhattacharya giving land. This is a recent struggle. That is Midnapur, South Midnapur. Hmm. But the original thing, Nandigram. And Vailar Ponna, is there anybody, any Malayali here? Yeah, please. Vailar Ponnapura struggle. Vailar Ponnapura struggle and Telangana Peasants Army struggle. Good, you are here. Vailar Ponnapura. It's called Vailar Ponnapura. Peasant struggles. These three struggles. But that's why communists became stronger in these three areas. Telangana, Kerala and Bengal. Seeds were sown that time, not now. Telangana armor struggle, peasants armor struggle, first started by Kutpala Sangam. Kutpala Sangam is, Sangam is association. Kutpala is Lati. Hindi mein samasthe honge, Lathere. Agar wo Lathera hai, hum Lathere banenge, Lathari banenge. You wield Lati in hand. Lathere hai na, wo Lathera hai, hum Lathere hai. We will resist. Resistance is called Lathere Sangam. Gutpal, Gutpala Sangam. Andhra Lagura Gutpala Sangam. Gudu Pantra Valu Gutpala. Gutpala Sangam. They started, let us resist them by wielding lotties. They have spears and swords in their hands. But we have only, we will only have, we cannot have wields because we are not licensed. Even to have weapon, you should have license. Even now, who will give you license? Naxalites cannot hold uh, arms. I am elected by people. I should wield weapon or those licensed by me should, should hold weapon. Nobody else should hold weapon. Similar, same thing that time. So, you cannot hold, you can hold Lati, no problem. Telugu also it is called Lati, Gutpalu Lati, it is a Hindi word. They first started Lati Sangam. Then it became, they were also going into Andhra areas. Andhra is a cold core. Nizam gave Andhra. Entire Nizam had sway over entire Telugu speaking area and parts of Ballari, Tumkur, Tavanagari, Karnataka. Hyderabad state consisted of Karnataka region, Karnataka, Kannada speaking people, Marathi speaking people and Telugu speaking people. 85 percent people were Hindus. Hyderabad state, I, I should have noted, Hyderabad state was larger than central province. Madhya, Madhya Pradesh is, and Chhattisgarh are called central province. Larger than central province, larger than Mysore state, larger than Madras state, larger than England, Scotland put together in area. And population that time was 1 crores, that time 1 crore 70 lakhs. And they used to collect. 9 crore revenue every year, annual revenue. 9 crores means 90,000 crores are much more than that now. That was the revenue that time. So, this is apart from feeding all feudatory lots, land lots. 9 lakh, 9 crores used to go to London. Resident has to, resident has to collect, he has to oversee collection process, revenue collection process. Even, and you, have you heard of Paramountcy? Paramountcy is British government, Paramountcy of the British Queen. In all the 565 states, Britishers, British rule should run. Only their rule run, their writ run. Their writ should run. Paramountcy is, they are supreme powers. British Queen is the supreme power. Paramounts, paramount powers are paramount. Paramounts is paramount. Paramount C should remain paramount. That is the word they say. For them, that is paramount. So they were the rulers. Nizam was only vassal. Of all 560 princes, 565 princes were vassals, vassal states. So they used to dictate what should be the taxation system. Chauth or Sardesh Mukhi. 
Sardesh Mukhi is royalty, whether there is a production, whether there is a crop this year or not, whether a drought or not. You should pay 10% of the assumed production. Last year you produced 10 quintals. This year there is, there is drought. Even then you should pay me 10%, that is 1 quintal out of 10 quintals. You produced last year 10 quintals. You paid me one quintal. This year also you should pay me one quintal. That is called Sardesh Mukhi. Those who collected became Deshmukhs, Deshpandes. They were Brahmins. Karnam, Kulkarni. Kulkarni is village clerk. They became Karnam, Marathi word. Choudhury. Choudhury is if there is crop, he will, he will be stationed in the village. Sardesh, Deshmukhs will not stay there. They may stay in cities. South is one fourth of the crop should be collected as tax. Choudhury is actually the one who collected South. That is Choudhury, Choudhury, Bengal Choudhury, Telugu Choudhury, any Choudhury. Choudhury is not name of a caste, not name of jats or commas. It's a designation. Uh, it's a tax collection agent. It's a designation. Chaut Vasul Karnevala. They are highly suppressive. Like like collector. Yeah. District collector. <laughs> Very suppressive action system. They used to collect everything. There was a saying in Telugu. Turkalu means those who come, came from Turk are called Turk. Actually, the name of this Turk. Turk. Nizams were from Turk. They are descendants of that. Even their daughters, Nilofir, Dureshavar, they were also from Turk. Daughter of uh, Turk King, Dureshavar and uh, Nilofir, Nilofir Hospital, you see. She was supposed to be the most beautiful woman of the day, that time, Nilofir. Nilofir. Nilofir is lotus. Nalina Dalekshana Gavach. Nalina I spread Islam, Anal Malik theory. Anal Malik is every Muslim is a ruler. Every Muslim bar in Hyderabad state is a ruler. Anal Malik theory. Trajakars you know, propagated the theory. Anal Malik theory. But Hindus opposed. Because 85% people were Hindus. Kanadas, Kanadigas, Telugu. And Rajakars used to denigrate Hindus saying, Telangi, Bedangi. Bedangi is the one without any methodology. Anarchy. Kannad Kapati. Kapati. Cunning person. Mar Marathi Haram Kor. Marathas are sinners. They revolt. Mar Maratha Haram Kor. They used to denigrate all the Hindus. If I am bordering on communism, please forgive me. I am, I am not a communist person. I am a secular person to the core. But history is history. That was the that was the slogan. Telangi, Bedangi, denigrate Telugu speaking people. Fifty percent were Telugu speaking people. The remaining thirty five percent were Marathas and Kannadas. Kannad Kapati, Mar Marathi Haramkor. Haramkor is sinner. Kill him. Kill the sinner Marathas. Because they revolted. You know they were near descendants of Shivaji. Why I am telling you this is Bid, Usmanabad, Latur, they were part of Hyderabad state. Now they are part of Maharashtra. Up to Sholapur, Tuljapur, Sholapur, Karnataka, North Karnataka area was part of Hyderabad. Bidar, Gulbarga, etc. And South Karnataka also, earlier, in 1800, he gave Rayalisima districts to Britishers. Koromandal districts, 1779. He gave Coromandel coast, including Masli Patnam port, to Britishers. They actually snatched it away. He did not give any. He, they said, you suffix your signature, that's all. Blindly put your signature. He has to signify. No treaty, no treaty. There, how can there be one way treaty? There, it should be two way. Both sides should mutually agree. Nothing like they keep God here, gun here, and ask him to sign, they will sign. That's why Nizam people used to say, Nizam was Lakirka Fakir. 
लकीर का फकीर इज रबर स्टाम्प लकीर नो स्ट्रोक यू नो स्ट्रोक ऑफ पेन निजाम वॉज रेड्यूस्ड टू द स्टेटस ऑफ लकीर का फकीर रबर स्टाम्प निजाम कार्ड हिमसेल्फ मैं कौन हूं मैं तो लकीर का फकीर हूं वॉट कैन आई डू आई एल सिंपली डू वाट वाट एवर दिस so this is the other dimension nobody finds fault with the british system for the anarchy in Tel- in hyderabad state they are also equally responsible they said whatever you want to do you do because he was the richest and the most trusted ally of the have you you must have seen delhi when king george 5 came to delhi all rajas were asked to build mansions for the entourage to stay royal entourage You must have seen uh, uh, Hyderabad House, India Gate, around India Gate, Jaipur House, Patiala House, Tiruvannur House, Hyderabad House. Hyderabad's Hyderabad House is not evaluated even now. Riches. That is because it is the rich. It is costlier than Rashtrapati Lane, Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament, because the chandelier itself, one chandelier in Hyderabad House. can buy entire rashtrapati bhavan it is not valued even now because there is only one chandelier in the world which is there everything is only one one unique you cannot find anywhere else in the world he built such a palatial house hyderabad house grandest of all buildings there in delhi so you can imagine the wealth of nizam nizam amast He was such a he was the wealthiest, so British government was also in a in a way scared. It did not like to uh, buy animosity with him. It maintained both blow hard, blow cold. Both the blow hard and blow cold. Both the when he goes R A, then they will show the gun. When he is obedient, okay, he is regarded as the most trusted friend. It all depends on the attitude of the resident and the attitude of the nizams, succeed, succeeding nizams. Why did shepherds revolt because of razakars? Two lakh forty thousand razakars, forty-six thousand regular army. Regular army did not do any plunder. They did not indulge in plunder. Razakars propagated Anal Malik theory. Razakars said there is staying in Telugu. పంట చేనులో చేను మీద ఉంటాయి ఇట్ దర్స్ ఇఫ్ దర్స్ స్టాండింగ్ క్రాప్ ఇన్ ది ఫీల్డ్ ఇది తురకల పాలు బుర్కల పాలు తురకలు మీన్స్ దోస్ హూ కేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ టర్కీ రజాకార్స్ దే విల్ ప్లాండర్ బుర్కల్ ఈజ్ బర్డ్స్ యూనో దే దే టేక్ బర్డ్స్ ఆర్ పెస్ట్ తురకలు ఆర్ బుర్కలు యూ ఇట్ విల్ నాట్ కమ్ టు యువర్ హౌస్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ ఎ గ్రెయిన్ విల్ కమ్ టు యువర్ హౌస్ not to your granary nobody had any granary they were living in utter poverty all the entire people they were reduced to serfdom slaves serfdom is slaves all of them were slaves there are hundred hundreds of songs cassettes also even now everybody became a poet everybody Paulo Freire have you heard of Paulo Freire Paulo Freire is a Brazilian educator he wrote a book so many books he wrote about sir any problem sir yeah, sir uh, the students are not able to hear uh, what you are speaking loud shall i speak aloud no 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 sir uh, your voice is right but they are not able to hear you sir just now we got a message oh oh my God. some new theater was inaugurated the gentleman the owner was saying it it is fitted with best acoustics theater is fitted with best acoustics half of the people shouted little louder sir acoustics that is the reality of acoustics hydro acoustics if we if we remove this will it be okay and you will use this mic this is your mic इसके साथ इसमें बोलेंगे ना दोनों भी ठीक है ओके दिस इज ओके नाउ 
Yes. Okay. I hope I am not drifting. No, I, I want uh, you to deal with integration. Integration, yeah, that's true. Why people revolted, I am also. Okay, that's good. That point is very Integration, I am telling you, people integrated, not the government of India. Correct. People, no. Two lakh forty. Independence. Independence, yes. Had the government of India liberated, there should be official celebration. Correct. From no official celebration. Government of India is blind. Government of India from the days of Dhritarashtra is blind. <laughs> Rulers sitting in Delhi are always blind, up to Modi, whether it is Indira Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi or Modi. What was the situation in 1947? 1947, Rajakars used to stay in the palatial houses of feudal rats. Feudal, feudal lords were allowed to build palatial houses, gad, they are called gadi even now. Rajakars used to stay in gadis and loot people. Why did shepherds revolt? Because they used to loot every day from every they used to take sheep or goats because they were they reveled in biryani. They eat biryani every day. They eat mutton every day. So they were looting shepherds. These Lambadas, they are Aryans, Aryan tribe, you know, they were good looking girls. They used to abduct girls, rape them, kill them. That's why Dharampuram Tanda. Tanda is a tribal village, Gund, uh, Lambada village. Thirteen people were killed in one village, Dharampuram. They revolted. They were, all tribals, Aryan tribes, they attacked a Rajakar camp consisting of 500 Rajakars with guns. They attacked, overpowered them and burned their camp also. Late, uh, late revolted. Why revolted? Okay, you cannot save your sister, you cannot save your brother, you cannot save your mother, your daughter. What is the life? There is no meaning of life. They attacked Rajakar. They are liberated. Where was, where was the Indian army? Where was the British army? Indian army is, is continuation of British army. That's why you see uh, all, all those who laid down lives in Second World War on uh, India Gate. They not, did not fight for uh, India freedom. They fought for Britishers. So they revolted. Landlords also revolted, some landlords, small landlords. Brahmins revolted because they were not spared, all temples were desecrated. So these are the major sections revolted. And our Gutpala Sangam consisted of 2 lakh volunteers. Later, Gutpala Sangam became Andhra Mahasabha, Andhra Mahasabha became Communist Party. Communists took over Andhra Mahasabha. There were about 2 lakh guerrillas armored guerrillas. All of them are not armed, about 3,000, 4,000 armored guerrillas. Again, Congress party also revolted, here Congress. Congress also revolted and mostly Arya Samaj. Arya Samaj did valiant struggle. Nizam, three, three people who were alive till recently, they threw bomb on Nizam himself, Jagdish Arya, Arya Samaj, Jagdish Arya, Gandaya and Narayan Rao Pawar. They were arrested later, tortured, that is a different thing. They were alive till this, they were alive very recently. Sultan Bayar Koti. They threw bomb on Nizam. He escaped. Luckily for Nizam, it, it, it killed some security men. Bomb. Ari Samaj, how can, how can we forget Ari Samaj? Sacrifice Ari Samaj. Ari Samaj said, even Dayananda Saraswati, who, launched, who founded Arya Samaj, was killed by Hindus, by poison. Hindus? He was killed by Hindus because he was preaching Vedic Dharma, not Pakhandi. Pakhandi is Chandaswad. Pakhandi Vad is distinct from Sanatanvad. Sanatanvad is Arya. Arya Samaj also says, God, there is no gay name for God. 
there is no Hinduism is not idolatry and our iconography worshiping icons worshiping idols is not Hinduism Saras Dhyana Saras said Arya Samadha also says Vedas also same thing Nirakadu Nirgunadu Niramadu Nirvikadu Swayambhu But why there was a delay of 13 months after India Ah independence So delay of 13 months because Nizam wanted to merge either with Pakistan or remain independent after uh, even after that even after britishers agreed william mountbatten mountbatten signed succession of uh, accession of power why did the indian government government in delhi kept quiet because they they honored nizam nizam bribed them even after police action nizam bribed them even now people dealing in sitting in delhi getting bribes that's why so many things are happening here that time that same every time they were all bribed they, then what they feared that communists will take over communists take over the government communist guerrillas so that's why they intervened Be, even before that congress people also revolted one village called bairanpalli it is called veer bairanpalli bairanpalli bairavuni palli bairav bairav mandir 108 people were killed the came razakars raza killed by razakars after independence after 15th august parangal hmm 110 bairanpalli 118 parangal district hmm jangam near jangam near his hometown 118 people were killed all women were na- made naked and paraded in the streets they were not raped that is different thing but they were made naked kootigallu nearby village 40 people were killed after independence parakala is equivalent to jallianwala bag equivalent to maile massacre maile in vietnam american soldiers killed so many people civilians in maile maile massacre for writing my exposing maile massacre Semur Harsh got Colombian award, Pulitzer Prize. So many journalists can get, uh, could have got Pulitzer Prizes had they exposed it. Parakala, 22 people were killed. This is May, May 1948. May 1948, 22 people were killed, 100 people were injured. Three people were tied to tree and shot dead. women were na- made naked they were not raped that is different thing so many things happened why did delhi kept kept uh, it was keeping quiet why should delhi keep quiet delhi was silent only then when they feared that communist will, communist guerrillas will take over they were all armed very violent struggle so many books sundaray also wrote sundaray wrote about telangana armed struggle and its lessons Thermal Nagari Day, Devalapalli Venkateshwara. So, so much of history, so many books on that. So, then when they feared communists will take over, then they interfered. Okay, you all interfered. It is called police action. Police action, polo action Operation Polo. General J.N. Choudhury, led by J.N. Choudhury. Polo, because there were 18 polo grounds. Hyderabad is the oldest cantonment, British cantonment. Why did British... soldiers keep quiet nizam asked no police no no in, army should interfere army men should not interfere hyderabad is has largest cont- contingent of british army then indian army same thing indian army general karyappa was chief karyappa was chief of indian army that time later hyderabad he became chief of indian army general srinagesh but they kept quiet they did not open their mouth when draupadi was being insulted in in the kauravas court bishma acharya drona acharya krupa acharya ashwatthama they kept quiet they did not open their mouth they did not find fault same thing happened that time they glossed over why should you gloss over unless you are bribed okay this is one part then police interfered police action it is called police action what happened <coughs> 
After that, I will give you only a few examples. I don't go, don't go into no, details no, of the no, history. Police action also happened. It was a mere ah. surrender, sir. Ah, mere surrender because there was no resistance. No resistance. They also feared what happened. First squad, Indian squad, came from Kodat, Kodat area. Then from Sholapur, Naldurg area. And one from uh, uh, which part? South Karnataka. They surrounded General Idrus. He was, he was an Arab. He was chief of uh, Nizam's army. He said, "We are incompetent. We cannot fight with them. We are no match." And uh, firearms also, they are far ahead of us. Not only in quantity, even quali quality also. We are no match. Let us surrender. Then Nizam agreed to surrender. Surrendered. You surrender. Then you should have agreed, signed on accession. Action deal, action treaty. They did not do that. I don't know whether he signed or not. He should have been made to sign. Why did not he sign? Then he went to court, international court. It is this is subject matter for study for you. A vassal way going to. He was not a independent ruler. When India became independent, even princely states should accept. Why did not they accept? All accelerated except Chunagad. Kashmir wanted to join India, Trivankur and Hyderabad. Trivankur ag agreed late. Trivankur agreed. Later, Kashmir joined. Why not Hyderabad? Why should it take one and a half year? That is because the Delhi people were tolerant. Tolerance means bribery. Silence. Silence, Silence money. If you took, ma, money keeps you silent. So, okay. But another fear that lurked at Delhi government was that Rajakars will kill Hindus. What will happen if Rajakar kill Hindus here, Hindus elsewhere kill Muslims. So, that was the fear. Then Britishers advised there will be large scale violence all over the country. Hindu-Muslim riots. Because he, Hyderabad, Nehru called Hyderabad, Patel called Hyderabad a belly. So you can, Nehru said, if our limbs are amputated, hands are amputated, northeast, northwest, Pepsu states, you know, Punjab, eastern province, you know, that was taken by Pakistan. Bangladesh and the east, taken by Pakistan. Both your hands are amputated, we can survive. But Hyderabad is belly. If belly is gone, how can we survive? It's belly of India, central pie. But Nehru, Nehru said, Sardar Patel, you are wrong, it's not belly, it is our heart. How can we live without heart? So if Rajakar start butchering people, if there is rights, if rights break out, if there is no heart, can India survive? So people in Delhi should have heart to have heart. They have, don't have, even now they don't have. I am critical of governments, all governments, not only this government, earlier governments also. Journalists, for journalists and academics, critical thought should be central. <coughs> so, okay, okay. Then they interfered. They disarmed Nizam. He is supposed to have signed, but he went to court. He made a complaint to Security Council, UN Security Council. So many people were hanged, so many people were killed, but government of India did not interfere because the case was pending in Union Security Council, Union, Sec Union Security Council. It later went to Hague. Ultimately, Nizam said, okay, I am acceding. How, who is Nizam? People have liberated themselves. People have already liberated themselves. Nizam had no, no heart to fight back. Rajakars have no heart. People say two lakh Muslims were butchered. We don't know which is fact or not. So the government has appointed a committee, Sundarlal committee. Muslims said so, so many Sundarlal, Pandit Sundarlal is from Gujarat. He went into the allegations of mus killing Muslims. He said about 2,000 to 3,000 Muslims were killed. But they claim 
2 lakh, we don't know. 2 lakh in big district, Latur Ismanabad area, that is Maharashtra area. As they were violent. Uh, Telangana armed struggle, people, peasants in uh, Telangana were violent. But non-peasants non also were violent in uh, Maratha, Maratha area. So, but whatever has happened, Nizam should have been jailed for the crimes he perpetrated, for, for nursing Rajakars. He nursed them. He was not punished. He was not in kept in jail. Leader of Rajakars, Kashim Rajvi. So many st stories, so many complaints, so, ma so much of evidence against Rajakars. Not a single Rajakars was jailed. Not a single Rajakar was prosecuted. Rajvi was not imprisoned. He was allowed to flee to Pakistan. Bahadur Yarjang was killed by people. People killed Bahadur Jang, another leader of. And even his nephews were killed by people. That is Lala Pailwan, Lodas in Old City. Loda is a community, you know, Loda Kshatriya community. They killed Bahadur Yarjang and his nephews. He was leader of the Majlis party and Rajakar party. Even MIM, it was banned, but the ban was lifted. MIM can con contest elections. It is contesting elections. It is contesting elections in Maharashtra. Expanding. Expanding all over the country. Why was it? Majlis Ittayadul Muslimin. Majlis is our nations. That is Sangatan. Even conference also is called Majlis. Ittayadul is unity. Muslim unity conference. MIM. Is out uh, offshoot of Rajakars. It, they floated a party. They are allowed to a country. Even now they are contesting elections all over the country, not only Hyderabad. They boast of protecting Muslims at the cost of Hindus, Hindus' lives. They even now believe in theory of Anal Malik. Even now they believe in that theory. They propagate that theory. They are not objected to by even election commission. Where is secularism? So why I am saying is no. Why I am telling you this is no. Not a single Rajakar was prosecuted. Nizam was not prosecuted. Nizam was not imprisoned. Nizam was given. He was granted free purses, five crore rupees a year, and annually five crores that time. On the top of it, he was made Raj Pramukh, equivalent to governor. He is the, he is the ruler. He continued as Raj Pramukh till 1956. Oh. 1956. Raj Pramukh? Hyderabad State. He was made Raj Pramukh. He used to sit in Rajbhavan as Raj Pramukh. There was another Raj, Raj Pramukh. Governor also is there. But he was honored with that title, Raj Pramukh. All princely princes were made Raj Pramukhs. He was also made. But all princes were not criminals like he. But he was made Raj Pramukh. But those who fought Nizam were imprisoned. Nalla Narasimhu, Kadwendi. He was imprisoned up to 1959. Shame on you. How can a freedom... He did not kill anybody. Is there any charge against him? The only crime he committed was revolt against Nizam. Propagating the theory, revolt against Nizam. He did not kill anybody. He comes from Kadwendi, Dudukumara's village. How can, how can government imprison a freedom fighter? On the top of it, Dasya the Rangacharya, great writer, great literature, freedom fighter. Krishnamacharya also is freedom fighter. He was a member of Congress party. He resigned Congress party because when he went there, when he was, he was in exile, he went to his, he was congressman, uh, his young elder brother also congressman. When he went to, he went to his village from exile, he saw Rajakars in Khadi. Those who killed Hindus, those who raped women with Rumitopi, that is called Rumitopi, no? Tur Turkish, Turkish heart. They joined Congress party. They started wearing Khadi Topi, Khadi dress. He said, it's shame, I don't stay in this party. He resigned and joined Communist party. He used to believe God and also Karl Marx. Both Karl, he said, yes, yes. Ah, Rangacharya, I never do. I don't, I don't accept blasphemy. 
ఇఫ్ యూ దైవ కమ్యూనిస్ట్ దూషణ అబ్యూజ్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనిస్ట్ ఐ డోంట్ టాలరేట్ అబ్యూజ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఆల్సో ఐ డోంట్ టాలరేట్ యూస్ టు నో స్పోర్ట్ నామ లైక్ దిస్ యూ రంగాచార్య ఆచార్య గ్రేట్ గ్రేట్ రైటర్ ఎట్ ది ఎట్ సెవెంటీ ఎట్ ది ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ హి ట్రాన్స్లేటెడ్ వేదాస్ ఇన్ టు తెలుగు విచ్ విచ్ నైన్ వాల్యూమ్స్ సెవెన్ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ పేజెస్ హి సెట్ గాడ్ రామా గేవ్ మీ స్ట్రెంత్ టు రైట్ దట్ ట్రాన్స్లేటెడ్ ఎట్ ది ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ దట్ ఏజ్ గ్రేట్ ఐ వాజ్ ఎ కమ్యూనిస్ట్ అండ్ వేద నో ఈ సేస్ దేర్ ఇస్ నో క్లాష్ ఈ యూస్ టు ఆల్వేస్ సే కారల్ మార్క్స్ సెట్ అబౌట్ టాక్ హై ఆఫ్ రిలీజియన్ రిలీజియన్ ఈజ్ వాయిస్ ఆఫ్ ది వాయిస్ లెస్ హార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది హార్ట్ లెస్ సోల్ ఆఫ్ ది సోల్ లెస్ సై ఆఫ్ ది అప్రెస్ అండ్ ఓపెన్ ఆఫ్ ది పీపుల్ ఓపెన్ ఆఫ్ ది పీపుల్ ఓకే బట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ డ్రిఫ్టింగ్ ఐ ఐ డోంట్ ఐ హోప్ ఐ ఆమ్ నాట్ డ్రిఫ్టింగ్ బట్ జెంటిల్మెన్ నిజాం వాజ్ నాట్ ఇన్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఈవెన్ నౌ ఇట్ దే ఎంజాయ్ ఆల్ దేర్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ రిమైన్ ఇంటాక్ట్ బికాస్ ఆల్ జనరల్స్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ జయన్ చౌదరి వాజ్ బ్రైబ్డ్ దే వర్ గిఫ్టెడ్ they were given gifts rare rare diamonds were given they found way to their houses all generals all army generals they pacified this delhi passage safe passage, passage. La- like a, likely last nizam prime minister of last, last nizam was allowed to flee to pakistan not a single razakar was punished what shall we say so i always keep saying people there are questions you know this merger is it a merger or a liberation or betrayal there are three theories you know betrayal also because people were not those who they may be communist guerrillas they fought back their land from landlords landlords were agents of nizam nizam in turn was agent of british queen those who fought back their land lands were snatched from them because only nizam can have lands all lands are registered in the name of hhg nam patadar hhg nizam all lands vested with nizam they fought back chenchus gonds santals bills savaras jatapas koya all from forest so that we can excavate the place we can explore mineral wealth they are inhabiting there bricks wanted that plan to be implemented and nizam implemented that it is now being implemented all over the country even now it is being happening it is happening in nallamala forest that side this side andhra and telangana both sides santal pargana also jharkhand area everywhere so rulers are same everywhere it's a continuous process you know it's a continuous entity governments are continuous entity their nature also is continuous tigers were carnivores that time no tiger was vegetarian even now tiger continue to be carnivores so rulers are rulers so what i mean to say is it is merger also is right liberation also is right but betrayal also is right all the three are right right theories which doctrine you subscribe somebody i said i subscribe to both all the theories so gentlemen this is the thing i wanted to tell you so i i think i threw light on everything i i did not like to go into details you know you, it may bore you no, I, i don't want you to become victims of boredom okay. thank you very thank much you. sir from my view point only one part part of the history let us view all parts of history and come to a conclusion that is history critical thought should be central to academics you don't believe anything i say you should critically analyze and come to truth there is also another called epistemology epistemology also is study of dimensions of truth it has so many dimensions so many enemies also truth has so many enemies lie lies are enemies of truth half truths are enemies untruth is another untruth is innocent lies are mischievous by may say something a small kid that may be untruth but it's not lie it's not intentional to cheat you distortion prevarication i don't tell the truth now i will tell after 10 days it also amounts to lies 
subjectivism, our own thinking process, you know, belief. Beliefs also are li uh, enemies of truth. Worst of all is worst of all enemies of truth is fact. Is cycling yes? Is he sweating yes? Is wheel moving yes? But the cycle is on a stand. He is walking yes? He is walking. He may be walking on treadmill. Walking is fact, cycling is fact, but not truth. So, similarly, historiography also gives the correct perspective of the truth. If you sh you, we should analyze all aspects of history, then we will get to the truth. So, I am going to talk to you about merger of Hyderabad state into Indian Republic. There is one professor from North India. He works in Fairfield University in America. His name is Sunil Purushottam. He wrote a book recently called From Raj to Republic. He dwelled very uh, at length about Hyderabad struggle, struggle of the people against Nizam, Nizam's tyranny, Nizam's feudatory lords. There were 565 princely states that time, not Hyderabad alone. Kashmir was a princely state, Mysore was a princely state, Hyderabad, Gwalior, Jaipur, Junagadh, Tirwankur, etc. 565. The richest of all was the Nizam. Nizam was richer than the Queen herself. Queen of England. Queen of England. Nizam actually called Victoria Queen. Kudavand Kaiser. Kudavand is godlike. Kaiser is ruler. Kaiser comes from Caesar. Kudavand Kaiser. If you go to Sikindrabad, Rani Ganj, it is named after Victoria Queen. It is written on wall, on uh, uh, gate for the health of Kudavand Kaiser, in memory of Kudavand Kaiser. That is Victoria Queen. Why I am telling you this is. There are so many Victoria Janana Hospital, Victoria Orphanage, Victoria, that are Rani Ganges, Victoria Queens. I am telling you this to highlight that no prince was a sovereign ruler. They were all vassals. Hyderabad was a vassal state. All 560 princely, princely states were vassal states. Vassal states means they are wholesale tax collection agents. Vassals are wholesale tax collection agents. For the British Queen. What's the spelling? V A S S A L. V A Vassal. Vassal is a, a, a prince appointed by Queen or recognized by Queen or recognized by the King. British Empire were the rare rulers, not only in Hyderabad, all over the country. They were not independent states. Vassals means they ensured that the no military invasion on princely state and no prince should invade another prince. That is the arrangement, agreement. In, in your area, you are the king, you can do anything. Nizam can have 100 wives, he can have 100 cuisines every day. But all his revenue policies are decided by the resident. Resident is British appointed person, officer. Resident used to decide what is your irrigation policy, what your tax taxation policy, what is your industrial policy, what is your medical policy, education policy. But Nizam was granted more powers than other rulers, other princes, because he was the most trusted ally. He helped the British to the, to, to the tune of 100 crores during First World War and also Second World War. Nobody helped, him so, helped them so much. He was the most trusted ally. Is there any person who speaks Urdu? Little, little. Toda, toda. No problem. Toda Bahut. That is Goldwinism, Toda Bahut. Goldwin is means Goldwin used to club two words 
and make them a phrase. Goldwyn, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, Goldwyn was a writer, W I N. He used to tell cliche, uh, stereotyped expression. He used to say, get me a new cliche. We had a thought case with, uh, with the title Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Met ah. Metro Goldwyn Mayer, ah. he, he, they are the producers. Yeah, Goldwyn used to say, get me a new cliche. How can there be a new cliche? Where should we include you, sir? Include me out. Is it possible? Possibility is impossible. That is Goldwinism. So I am using Goldwinism. Toda Bhaut is Goldwinism. Friends, Nizam was a only a vassal. You cannot fight for 100%. Because policies were decided by the resident. Resident was answerable to Queen directly, not to Viceroy. Directly answerable to Queen. There is a Viceroy here, our Governor General later. He is not, a, resident was not answerable to. I tell you, have you read up, uh, anything about William Derlimpul? Have you heard of him? Have you heard? What is the name of, name of the book? Uh, the White Mughal. Ah, the White Mughal. And another book, The Last Mughal. Last Mughal was about Bahadur Shah Jafar, mutiny. Last Mughal was about, uh, White Mughal was about Kirkpatrick. Actually, it's Kirkpatrick. Please, please. And you have residency in Hyderabad, no? Ah, Koti residency. Koti residency. Uh, women's College, Usmania University Women's College in Sultan Bazar is called residency. Koti. Koti is palace. Koti, Mantriji ki Koti. Residency was the house of the resident. That's why it's called resident. So, British, you, you, you have you seen the place? It's, it is much grandier than the Nizam's house, much larger than Nizam's house. He built such a palatial house to tell Nizam and the world that he is the real ruler, not Nizam. The White Mughal, William Darlimpur book, is full of lies. Full of lies. If you read, Last Mughal, he called all mutineers bandits. Bandits. How can mutineers be bandits? And he wrote sim uh, with high sympathy for the Br British officers. That last Mughal. No, I am not saying Bahadur Shah Jafar is a saint. He is also a criminal like any other ruler, inhuman like any other ruler. If you know Banda Singh Bahadur, have you heard of Banda Singh Bahadur? No, he, also, he was also killed criminally by the Britishers in uh, Rangoon, Bahadur Shah Jafar. Bahadur Shah Jafar also butchered many Sikhs and including Banda Singh Bahadur. Even his child was not spared. Young kid, he was cut, his throat was cut before, his, before the father. If you convert, convert, convert. Otherwise, if you don't convert to Islam, will cut your son's throat. You can also refer to Banda Singh Bahadur on you Google. He was also a criminal, that is a different thing. But mutineers are great uh, fighters. No, they, we cannot, uh, the valorous fighters, not valiant fight mutiny. They were tied to cannon muzzles and blown into pieces. We did not write anything about that. Same thing about White Mughal. White Mughal was Kirkpatrick resident. The Kirkpatrick said, no, William Derlimpul says, there is love affair between this girl, Kairunissa. Kairunissa is granddaughter of Mir Alam, Prime Minister. How can there be love before between a resident and this girl? She was only 14 year old when she married her, when he married her. 14 year old. You can also refer later. She died, at, she died at the age of, he died when she was 19 year old. He, he, they had two children. Children were taken to London. She, they were not shown to her. There are so many other things. I don't go to into it. She was made mistress after this. She was made mistress of so many residents, one after the other. Why I am telling you this is, she was abducted, kidnapped in daylight. Prime Minister's granddaughter was kidnapped 
in daylight. There is no marriage. No marriage was ceremonized. He never attended any uh, Islamic conversion ceremony. But he was called Asmat Jang Bahadur. Asmat Pet and Asmat Ganj are named after him. That is, book is full of lies. Tissue of lies. That's why Ramachandra Goha said, who are you to write our history? You write your own history. You write about Jalina Alabak, you apologize for the criminal crimes you committed there. Have they ever apologized? They never apologized. Have they returned our Kohinoor? They have not returned. You are enjoying, you are enjoying the loot of your forefathers. How can you call yourself civilized? How, how can you call yourself honest? How can you preach human, human values? That is a different thing. But Britishers, British rulers were like that. Even now they are like that. They are trying to blask in the glory of their forefathers. Actually, they should hang their heads in shame. Uh, you have read good, you have read the book. You have, have you read the entire thing from end to end? You should start reading it now, after going. They are celebrated works of William Derlimpul. Last Mughal and White Mughal. Why last Mughal about Delhi? Delhi, I should